It's a church fundraiser that's brought out more people than a visit from the Queen, Pope, or even a rock star could. Organizers were planning for 100,000 people. That's one in five people in Newfoundland and Labrador crammed into the Goulds neighborhood of St. John's, each person hoping to become a millionaire. The first card of the night flipped over didn't reveal the ace, so another ticket and another chance. It was Don and Mark Gorman's turn next. With this ace of spades, they're taking home $2.6 million of prize split with three couples, but it's still enough to change their life. I'm now going to retire. <laughs> the event has become about more than just the money. You know, we're going to miss it all. I mean, we get together in the mornings, we get together in the evenings, and it's just like this big old garden party, yeah. right? Now it's like, what are we going to do on Wednesday? <laughs> It all started 44 weeks ago as just a small fundraiser for the St. Kevin's Parish Church. At first, the jackpots were just a few thousand dollars. Each week, tickets were sold, a name was drawn, and a card from the deck was flipped over. No one uncovered that ace of spades, so no one got the grand prize. It all just rolled over week after week. For this final draw, the lineup stretched for kilometers. Many people waited in line for five hours just to buy tickets. It's not just the church that's profited. Buskers had a captive audience to make a few dollars. Kids and charity groups sold parking spaces, bottles of water and food. At the local diner, they couldn't keep up with all the orders on Wednesdays, but not everyone in the neighborhood was happy to see the place shut down once a week, clogged with cars and people. Revenue on Wednesday is zilch, nanny. I just can't get nothing done. With the school year starting soon and millions in the bank, organizers decided this would be a mega draw. One way or another, the jackpot would be given out. Kind of disappointed that it's all going to be over because it's been such a, a big part of all the community's lives now since October. The other big winner has been the church, bringing in millions from the lottery. It has rather modest plans for its winnings, fix up the steeple, expand the cemetery, and redo the front steps. Peter Cowan, CBC News, St. John's.